Hello guys, uh, thank you so much guys. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, this is Felix Ruben. I've uh, been dedicating a uh, clinic for uh, And today I'm so much passionate to come to this class. And uh, we basically learn on uh, cervical cancer that is really, really key in our society. It's killing uh, our sisters and our, our, our mothers. Uh, so it's so key and we have to talk about it. So uh, cervical cancer screening is our baseline. Cervical cancer screening should be one of the first baseline factor that should be considered when you get a client that is really suspicious uh, to be having cancer. And the ones that are also not being suspicious, you could be doing a routine screening to help, help you establish whether these are patients that is really going to benefit uh, for the treatment uh, or not. Now, cervical cancer screening, basically we are dealing with the cells that are around the cervix. Cells around the cervix uh, could be having cancer. And when they have cancer, it simply means that the cancer will penetrate through into the internal organs and it will manifest. So before it manifests, we are trying to, uh, you know, prevent and make sure that our mothers are really okay. The reason why I'm being so much passionate about cervical, cervical cancer screening is uh, cervical cancer can be prevented in doing so many things. And the reason why it can be prevented because uh, its medication is very much expensive and for you to afford, uh, maybe you would be losing a patient. Now, cervical cancer screening can be prevented through avoiding multiple sex partners. That is number one. Number two, you can avoid uh, smoking. Okay? Number three, you can avoid cervical cancer by, uh, you know, preventing our young adolescents, ones, uh, the age less than 20, from having uh, early sexual activity, okay? Now, some of the predisposing factors is immunosuppression, things to do with HIV, the immune system is derailed, and that makes someone basically uh, have the risk factors. Now, we also have the genetic uh, issues, the mother, sister, uh, you know, trying to come in as also a factor. Now, cervical cancer is something that is linking it with HPV because basically the human papilloma virus, which is so critical also, which is a common condition caused by the STIs, uh, is linked to it. And that is why we are encouraging our, 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 our young ones from the age of nine to 14 to have what we call HPV vaccine because basically that is what is going to help us in uh, reducing and uh, preventing cervical cancer. Now, this is how it comes about. In doing the screening, uh, or before even you do the screening, actually you'll be having some of the signs and symptoms which basically will lead you to doing a screening anyway. Uh, things like pelvic pain, there's pain during sex, there's vaginal bleeding, uh, there is this vaginal discharge that is bloody, false smelling, you know, there is uh, so many factors as well. Now, this would also make you uh, suspicious and you send, or actually you do uh, via via, uh, we, ha we have what we call the via V, okay? V stands for visual, I stand for inspection, A stands for acetic acid, okay? Uh, the V like V stands for uh, visual, I stand for inspection, L stands for lugos iodine. So through all these inspections, actually that we have in our sub-counties, uh, in Oma Bay or any sub-county, I think in this country, would uh, afford this. Uh, basically, we'll be doing the screening and when you have uh, a state of CIN1, that is cervical intraepithelial neoplasia 1, that is cancer at a minute stage, 
which can be avoided. These are cases where a patient can be treated and uh, uh, given just a TCA on a normal uh, duty. Uh, they come back and then the cancer disappears. That is when it is detected at an early stage. Okay? Because we are trying to avoid uh, a stage whereby the cancer has gone further and it has really, really mutated and it has caused a lot of damages into the internal organs. Okay? Now, before we reach there, it normally takes around 10 to 20 years for a mother developing cancer. Now, what normally worries me is that why can't we really do a good job down there so that we prevent them from reaching the, 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 the chronic stages? Now, when we are doing the screening, we are going to uh, target what we call the squamous columnar junction. Squamous columnar junction is actually an area that we are going to target when we are doing our screening. Now, the reason why we are not doing cancer screening using uh, the via villi method into our old mothers above 65 years is because their squamous columnar junction is retrieving, okay? It retrieves with time. Now, this is going to be our cervix and our squamous columnar junction here is at this point, okay? We just assume it. Squamous columnar junction one, and then we have squamous columnar junction two. Now, in between the squamous columnar junction one, we have building blocks here. The building blocks here, the space is what we call the, the TZ. The TZ is the transformative zone. A transformative zone is where this cell actually multiplies and multiplies and they grow. If they're not killed, you have a fully blown cancer up to all the higher grades, okay? Now, the squamous columnar junction, if you really know how to identify it, you'll have your transformation zone at that point. Now, let's have an example. We have epithelium here, and then between the epithelium and the deeper uh, organelles or vessels, we have what we call the basement membrane. Now, the basement membrane just makes a distinction between the epithelial cells and the stroma, okay? We have what we call the stroma down there. Now, beneath the stroma, we have now the organ. So before you reach the stroma, you shall have passed all those stages. And you know, cancer, for it to reach those areas, if you really did a really uh, nice job on doing a screening at early stage, you'd have helped your client or our mother in uh, that aspect. Now, uh, there is a, a, a really big difference of what is happening. Now, we have a cell. Let's have a cell. A cell has what we call protein, and a cell has what we call glycogen. Glycogen is a form of energy uh, stored mechanism into a cell. Now, the cells cannot work without energy. Now, a normal cell will have uh, a size that is not compared to that cell that is cancerous. A cancerous cell will have an increased size. It will also have more proteins. 